Gordon. In this video, I'm going to teach you a bunch of knots. These knots will be useful for outfitting your canoe or setting up camp. The first knot I'm going to show you is called the bowlin. The bowlin is used to tie the rope around something, like a tree or the handle of your canoe. So you'll use it to set up a tarp or put the painter of your canoe onto your canoe. It's used to tie the rope around something. So first, I'll tie the bowline silently, so watch my hands carefully, and then I'll undo the knot and I'll tie it again and I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So watch my hands carefully. That's the bowline. So now I'm gonna tie the bowline again and I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So watch my hands carefully. So first I make a loop and I hold it flat like that. And the running end here, it's on top. So I take the running end and it goes through the loop upwards around the standing end and then back down the loop. So the easy mnemonic is the rabbit comes up the hole, around the tree, back down the hole. So now I got it looking like this. I grab it here, this little standing end and the side of the loop. And I grab it here and I pull it tight and I got a bowl how to tie the bowl in around something. In this case, this alder tree here. So I'd do this if I was putting up a tarp or this is how you tie the rope around a tree. So I start with making the loop. And I hold it flat like that. And then I take the end and I wrap it around the tree or the canoe handle, whatever I want to tie it around. Like that. So and then I just continue with the normal bowling. The rabbit comes up the hole, around the tree, back down the hole. There you go. Tied the bowling around the tree. The next knot I'm going to teach you is called the trucker's hitch. The trucker's hitch is used to tighten the rope, to make it nice and taut. So you'd use it if you were tying your canoe down to the rack of your car or uh, to make a ridge line to throw a tarp over. So I've already pre-tied a bowl in onto this tree. Now I'm going to try a trucker's hitch onto this alder here. And it'll make a nice tight ridge line. So first I'm going to just do it silently. Watch my hands carefully. And then I'll undo the knot and I'll pre-tie it while explaining what I'm doing. So it looks like this. That's the trucker's hitch. Got a nice taut rope here. So first I start with a loop. And then I take a bite of the rope here and I stick it through the loop and I pull that tight. So I got a loop there. Then I take the rope Wrap it around the tree. And then I take the end of the rope, put it through that loop I made back here, and then I can just 
pull it tight, like leap, like a pulley. Real tight. Take my other hand and I sort of pinch it like that to keep it tight. And then I tie two half hitches. I just go like that. To walk it. And that's how you tie the trucker's hitch. Makes a nice taut rope. Now I'm going to show you how to do a, a more zoomed in detailed version of the half hitch which finishes off the trucker's hitch. So I got it like this. I take the running end here and I just feed it through this loop and pull it tight. So the half hitch, that's one half hitch and then I tie a second one to lock it off. So hold the rope like this and just feed it through that loop that you've made here. That locks off the trucker's hitch. This next knot is uh, the double figure eight. It's a really simple one. It makes a loop. It makes a really good indestructible loop. So uh, I use this one when I'm like, when I put the pegs in for a tarp and I need to put a loop around those pegs, use the double figure eight. It's also good because it's really easy to untie when you're breaking camp the next morning. So I'll show you how silently and I'll undo the knot and I'll walk you through it. So double figure eight looks like this. So this is how you tie the double figure eight. You take a bite of the rope, like this, and then down here, I make a loop like that, and then I take the end of the rope, and I wrap it around that loop, and then through the loop, and then I pull it tight. And now I have a loop here. I'm gonna teach you the clove hitch. The clove hitch is a knot uh, to tie the rope to a stick or anything. Um, and you can pull it both ways. And uh, it's, I use it to, when I make posts to put up a tarp where there's no trees, I use it to guy it out. That'll be further in another video. So this is how you do the flow pitch. Looks like that. Watch my hands carefully, I'll explain how to tie the clove hitch. So you first you make a loop, then you make another loop, but they're opposite. See the one of them's got the rope behind it and the other one's got the rope in front. Then you cross the two loops over so that they're the rope here and the rope here are behind each other. So it looks like this. Not like this. Like this. And then you put the loop over the post and pull it tight. And you'll know you've done it correctly if it's got like uh, two parallel ones with two parallel strands with one strand coming diagonally over that. That's the clove hitch. I'm going to show you a good way to coil a rope for storage. So to get the coil, I just wrap it around my elbow and my thumb here. So I got about this much rope left. So I got a neat package there. I take this extra here, 
and wrap it around the top of the coil. Like that. Just wrap it around. And then I take this extra, take a bite out of it, put the bite through the top loop there. So I got it like that. And then I take this end and I put it through that loop I just made and pull it tight. Now I have a nice coiled packaging rope here. The key to getting good at knots is just practice. You just gotta do it a lot. Just let your hands absentmindedly tie knots. Eventually you'll get good enough that you can do the hard ones with your eyes closed. Have contests with your friends so you can tie the tie them the quickest or with your eyes closed and uh, just do it a lot. It's all practice. Invent your own knots. Maybe some of them will work better than this. So again, just do it a lot. That's how you get good at knots.